Hello, my name is John Endres. I'm the CEO of an organization called Good Governance Africa, based in Johannesburg in South Africa. Uh, we are very pleased to be in Brussels today, um, where we've been invited by the Friedrich Naumann Foundation to speak about the state of Africa and of South Africa and of developments happening here. We have enjoyed our interaction with our audience earlier here and look forward to our next few stops. Uh, Franz Cronier, I work for a South African think tank called the IRR, a classically uh, liberal organization and long-time friend and partner of the foundation. And very interesting afternoon in Brussels talking about South Africa and Africa and making the argument that while Africa seems after decades to be moving socially and economically in the right direction finally, there are at the same time questions being asked about South Africa and whether the political transition of the 1990s is something that can be sustained. If you were able to give one policy recommendation, what should the EU do to support democracy in South Africa? I think there's a big one, which is get in the game. And we've certainly tracked over our last uh, decade that uh, European ambassadors have been very guilty of skirting issues that we think are core to European and Western interests in South Africa, perhaps for reasons of political correctness, perhaps because of a very flawed reading of the South African government. Um, I think that European ambassadors have made a series of critical strategic mistakes. And when we look at policy towards Europe today, the proposed cancellation of uh, 13 bilateral investment treaties, that's a case of chickens coming home to roost. And there wouldn't for me be three. There'd be one major proposal, which is if you want your interests in South Africa to be defended, you need to start investing in the organizations and ideas that are the core of liberal democracies, property rights, individual rights and the rule of law. Um, from an African perspective, I would say that development aid is less important than trade. And developed world governments, that includes the governments in Europe and the United States, give over $400 billion worth of support to the agricultural sectors every year. And I think that is quite a barrier to Africa's development. So rather than giving development aid, make it possible for Africa to trade with Europe more easily.